started in my house. What it is, is my dad had clippers and he's used to cutting with scissors. So he couldn't use the clippers. But I picked them up, started cutting my mates and then I went to G's Barbershop in Kensal Rice. Personality is very important in it. Everyone's got their own style. I think you show that when you cut, cut the customer's hair and you show that when they create that bond with you, start chatting with you and obviously when they want to revisit and make an appointment with you in the future. Well, we've got a good range of barbers in there. We've got Marvin, who works just behind me. And he's a very good barber. He's been with us, uh, let's say about Seven years now? Yeah, we have Mikey, who's just come. He's been here for about a year or so. He's from South London. He brings a good vibe to the place. He's very sort of, very Jamaican, got the accent, lots of flavour. And he's a good cook as well. He cooks for us, you know, like every week. He brings some nice food and things. So he's the guy. Well, Paul actually taught me how to cut here. When I used to cut in my um, dad's, I started working in Kensal Rice, where Paul took me under his wing and taught me how to cut. And, well, we're still here. This is, what, 20 years later? Last but not least, Fidelia. He does the locks and uh, twists and things like that in shop. She has her own section at the back. She's fantastic. I call her subtitles because I can never understand what she says. What do you want people to feel like when million dollars. I want people to feel like they've had a good experience, they're happy and basically they just look and feel better than they did when they came in. More better.